Hi, Peter Bernstein here, uh, senior editor for TMCNet.com. Uh, I'm in beautiful Indianapolis for Interactions 2013, and I'm here with Ami Barzile, who's an engineer with Video. That's Video with a Y, as yeah. you can see behind us. And um, Video was part of the keynote session today as one of the really hot new uh, uh, capabilities identified by uh, our host, Interactive Intelligence, and I thought it'd be a really good idea to let uh, Ami run you through why video is important uh, for contact centers, uh, what the capability is, and your relationship with Interactive Intelligence. So, it's all yours. Great, thank you. Um, so, Video is a disruptive video conferencing software company. We have products that run on any network and on any device. So one of the keys to working with interactive intelligence is that we basically solve the problem of running video to the last mile. So usually when you try to do video conferencing, it needs to be on a controlled network with QoS. Our technology is resilient to problems on the network, variances in bandwidth, anything you can imagine that typically happens on an, inter happens on an internet connection. So when a user is joining from home or from a wireless network or, or really virtually anywhere, they're able to join from whatever device they're using, like this Amazon Kindle or an iPad or their laptop, Mac, PC. Um, and they're able to use their just regular commodity internet connection to join. And that's all because of our um, disruptive video conferencing technology. So, so let's walk through this really quickly. I have, a, I have an iPad. Um, I have a problem. I contact, I go on the website of the contact center and it says push to see? What, is it, what does it say? Well, that, that's really up to whoever integrates it and embeds it into their experience. So at the end of the day, um, our whole platform is completely customizable through APIs. So typically what would happen is you have some sort of initial interaction with the support person, and then that support person will have an interface that allows them to escalate to video um, from either a web interface or software, ho however you ultimately want to integrate it. And then the user, whether they're on a mobile device or their uh, computer, they either would have an experience maybe embedded in a web browser or they'll download a plugin, um, or if they're on a mobile device, then they'll need some sort of app from the App Store. So I just want to, since, since we have Johnny who is live uh, in Hackensack, New Jersey and waving, uh, I just want to show you the video quality that's capable off of an iPad. So I'm going to put the mic up next to Johnny so you, that you can hear him. The audio is coming out. Oh, the audio is coming out <laughs> of there. Anyway, um, say something, Johnny. <laughs> yeah. Johnny, can you hear us? <laughs> Absolutely. I can hear you loud and clear, and I can see you guys crystal clear. It's a great day here at Video. I'm live in Hackensack, New Jersey at the Video headquarters. It's a beautiful day. And like I said, always great to be here. It's my second home, and I love it here. And I love you guys, too. Thank you so much for uh, having me. Whole lot of love going around today, huh? Johnny's very generous, giving <laughs> yeah. that love around. Yeah. So um, anyway, uh, everybody agrees it's one of the hot buzz items here at the show that video is going to be important, especially for interactions with people who have visual problems. Um, the, I thought the example that you guys gave this morning for fixing a bike uh, was, was actually good. Um, where do you see this going? Um, I think there's a lot of technologies coming out now that are enabling video conferencing clients on any platform. And we're ultimately um, an infrastructure software. So at the end of the day, what's important to us is getting the ability to do video, you know, cameras embedded in everything you can imagine. Um, that's what's really going to drive it, you know, making the barrier to entry as low as possible. So for us, that's great because at the end of the day, we power the infrastructure. So there you have it. Um, video is going to become important to the contact centers, and if it isn't already uh, for you, that's video with a Y. Thanks a lot. It.